Right, no messing around today. We've got one day with the van this week. One day! Bloody Dave over here decided to go for another holiday. And I'd go as far as to say you're putting pleasure before work here, Dave. What, with the sausage and cider vest? Hmm. I'd say that's pleasure before work. Sausage and cider is definitely priority number one. Right, here's a fresh whiteboard. This is what we need to get done. Paint and install window frame. Oh, you've done it! <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah. Drop the fuel tank. Let's be honest, at this point, Dave makes brew. I'm, I'm not drinking it as well. Plus, drink it. Yeah. Open inverter box. That's exciting. That's good stuff. Yeah. And last but not least, at some point, we need to pick up moving van. We better get started. Yes. Moving van, or is it a van for moving? It's a van for moving because the van shouldn't be moving when well, we get uh, there. Um, yeah, because we're going to struggle to pick it up anyway, especially if it's, if it's moving. Unless it's like the London Eye, where it just continually moves and you have to jump in as it's going. <laughs> that might be the, so that's you never... the way they work. This morning we're starting by lowering the fuel tank. The heater for the van is powered by diesel which will be taken straight from the van's tank rather than having to install and refill a separate one. It just makes things easier and lighter. Drop fuel tank, that is a challenge complete because it's dropped. Woo! It yeah. might not be complete but it's dropped and that's exactly what that says so that's a tick. Right, well we've been left by ourselves because they've gone to collect the van to pick everything up because we're moving house, obviously. I'm holding down the fort and waiting for our subway which I hope comes soon because I am starving. Whee! Since the whole health thing has been happening, I've got really bad health anxiety so even like hunger pains frighten me really bad. Right, well I'm going to attempt to eat an update. I have got my breast appointment this week, actually. I will have already had it by the time you see this video. And I'm booked in to see a private haematologist on Saturday. So, fingers crossed, we might actually, we might actually get some answers, hey? No, oh my God! What are you looking at? Oh, what? here he is. Is he allowed to drive that? Oh, oh, oh. Right then. Yeah. Right, well I've got a few questions. Go on then. First of all, are you allowed to drive this? Well, I didn't ask. My second question is, is this going to get down our track? Well, we will find out. Oh, God. What do you reckon, Dave? No, I don't think... 100% guaranteed not fitting under those trees. You think we're taking chunks? This is why I should have gone with you. No one should let me do things like this. Oh. I'm, I'm a bit unhappy about that now. Where's my food? I feel I'm hungry. He's told me how to do the back. Do I remember? <laughs> It's a different question. Back farm can crush. It can crush. Keep feet clear. Keep, Keep your feet, feet clear. especially you. Can I just put my shoes on it. Yeah. I thought I could smell something. Right, you lift this. I feel powerful up here, I do. Yeah. Right, can you slide up now? Going well then. Do you remember no. how to open that? I'm just chilling here for a bit because it's in the shade and it's nice. Oh, here you go, look. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, have you smelt it? Well, this will do the job. Hey, tick it off the list. Okay. And that is box two. Ready? Off the list. No. Yay! In all seriousness, we really do have to get this uh, diesel tank done before we leave today because Dave won't be here over the weekend. He's going on his holly bobs again. So we do need to get that all done so we can move the van back into the warehouse before we, we all leave. And uh, in other news, we've got until Monday. Oh, move in. that's also stressful. We've got four days to move house, so it uh, should be a fun week. Where do I paint? What do I paint with? Are you, you don't look ready to paint, <laughs> you're eating a cookie. I can walk trash. What's just a minute? It's not cookie. What? It's not cookie. It's not. Is it chocolate chip? It's not. I think it might be chocolate it's chip. It's not a chocolate You've chip. You've been there for, I'm what, not. two minutes? I'm going to have to sand it. Right, 
if you're not going to do it properly, don't do I it. I have done it properly with well, me. Well, what's this here? I'm not done it's yet. Running. After Dave had finished lecturing me, I got to painting. I feel like I've been given the most of the painting jobs during this build, purely because my painting skills are unmatched. This is the last of the window frames to go in, and I can't wait to see what they'll look like when they're complete. Anyways, let's check in on the boys. So if I just sit here and watch you do it... Yeah? I just think a sort of moral support? Yeah. Yeah. Go on, Dave. <laughs> you can do it. So, can you push that forward a bit? I've got, I've got to do something about it. Did you do it yourself? I think I did it myself. Right, okay. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. Have you done it? I've done it. Are we in yet? No. Oh, shoulder job. Dave had already done what he needed to do with the fuel tank, and now he was pretty much just putting it back in. I did actually help in the end by giving Jack a few pumps. All we've got left of him is a leg. Dave! How's it looking under there? Uh, give, it, give, it a, give it a slow pump. A slow pump. Right, well, Dave reckons he doesn't want to brew, which, you know what, it's very out of character, but he's been under the van most of the day, so we'll let him off. So, uh, I think we're just gonna... Did he say he didn't want to brew, or did he yeah. say that he wanted someone else to make it? Did you say you didn't want to brew? You don't want to brew. What are you saying? You didn't want to brew. When? I told you you didn't say that. Hold on, where's that pen? There's a tea inside for God save the Dave. Oh, nice. Thank no, you. no bin bag in the kitchen bin, so. Oh, so that needs a that needs a bag pudding in it. Yeah. Num nums. <laughs> While Dave was lining up the fuel thingy with the hole, I was giving the frame its second coat of paint. And shortly after, we had a slight disagreement. Betty butter, butter, bitter, 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 bitter butter to make the bitter, bitter butter better. Betty butter, butter, bitter, bitter butter, and she put the bitter, better butter with the bitter, bitter butter to make the bitter. Why not? No one buys that much water. Just the lady less bitter. Well, they do. She does. You just buy it because it was less bitter. Well, no, because she doesn't want to waste the one that she's already bought. Is that what I'm saying, Dave? Well, no, I don't, I, I don't tend to know what you're saying. What, Betty what is Butter this? bought a bit of bitter butter. To make the bitter bitter butter better, Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. She put the bitter better butter with the bitter bitter butter to make the bitter bitter butter better. That's very impressive. Yeah, but you think her jokes are impressive sometimes, and I, I tend to disagree with that. I tend to think yours are boomerish. It depends on the time. There's a time and a place. Some of them. But, but do you the agree? The whole Mark Kevin one was, that was, that was... Not the right time. So you can hold that ish where those uh, marks are. Then what if I hold them up to the Kevin? What? Who's Kevin? Oh, I don't know a mark. But do you agree? It's the question. Colour is not reckon. Anyone who would have bought bitter butter wouldn't buy a better butter to make the bitter butter better. So she'd get rid of the bitter butter and just buy some better butter. Here's the thing. I stopped listening after a while because what what bitter butter butter's not bitter, is it? She's bought bitter butter rather than getting rid of it and just buying butter that isn't bitter. She's bought a different butter to put it in the bitter butter to make the bitter butter less bitter. Why wouldn't we just get rid of it? Stupid woman. No one's it's a cost of living crisis. Okay, moment of truth. The diesel tank is completely back in now, and now we've got to see if it starts up. Will. It, we should do. We've not had the best of luck starting it anyway, to be honest with you. But that's a story for another day. The moment of truth was upon us. Has Dave's handiwork been successful? Or did I give Jack enough pumps? That started better than usual, <laughs> didn't it? It stinks! Well, it works. There's only one thing left to do. And you know what? I'm going to tick it off before we've done it. That's how confident I am that we're going to do it in the next five minutes. Pick it up if you want. Go on then. Maybe later. What's this, sorry? It's an inverter. And I'm going to explain to Not you. Not a catalytic converter. Not a converter, an inverter. Okay. You've got a battery. You'll have a battery. Yeah. Well, you have actually got a battery. It's in yeah. the charge. That's 24 volts. You can't plug in things like a toaster and that sort of stuff into that. You need 200 volts. So everyone watching right now is probably thrilled at the fact that we're going to show them this because, well, it's just really exciting stuff. Whoa! That looks Whoa! heavy. That looks massive. That looks really heavy. Can I just point out that 
you opted for this ridiculously sized one so right. you could run things that most of the time you wouldn't bother running in a van. So can we send it back well, or you me. got the receipt? You got the receipt. <laughs> right then, we better get going. Yep. Dave's off on his Ollie Bobs and we've got four days to move our whole house. With only four days to move our entire house, we were gonna need a little help. That night, the grandparents came by to help us with the security cameras. Unfortunately, I'm not exactly great at DIY, so I don't actually own many tools. We then decided it might be easier to clear the garden and get it over to the new house in the first load. So that's exactly what we did. Well, that's the garden packed. It all just looks slightly sad. Now we just need to head over to the house. Liana's staying at home to put Cozy to bed. I'm hitting the road with the parents, so let's do this. We made it. Welcome to the farm. Honey, I'm home. Right, let's get to work. For the next hour or so, we pretty much smashed it. Everything came off the van into the right place so we wouldn't have to worry about moving it around later. We even brought our beloved plants, which were probably the heaviest thing on the whole load. Oh my God, I can't lift that on my own. Oh, let's do then we spent the next 20 minutes trying to work out where they'd look best. <laughs> Three more days. That's all we've got until we have to be out of here. So I'm gonna enjoy my last five minutes of peace. I love you. <laughs> You're so silly. What's the POA? Well, we've had a fridge delivered and it's sitting outside on the driveway and it looks like it's about to rain, so I'm assuming we should probably go and get it in. Right, yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, when I said leave it at the gate, I didn't, I didn't mean the back gate. That's not the gate we thought. How are we gonna get that in? Well, we're gonna need a strong man. Right, well, I've got this. Thing. Oh! Is it not that heavy? Whoa! I'd say that's about three of you. Not very heavy then. Right, get on here. Right. Very I reckon heavy. that's doable. <laughs> We're doing it! Woo! Yay! Into spider hell. Right, the clock is ticking, it's Friday. We've got until Monday to move an entire house. We've got the help of Harry today. So let's see what we can get done. Hopefully all the heavy stuff. Last night, Connor and his parents did all the stuff in the garage while I put baby down. So that's one less job to do. Speak of the devil, can you, I think, can you, can you hear that? Oh, he's not. What? He's not coming a Leicester kit. You've got to tell him they're a championship ah! club now. Yeah, I know, renegation. I don't even watch football, but I will make fun of him. Hello. <laughs> Why have you come in your, in your Leicester top? Representing. Representing a renegated team. Right, we're starting with the sofa. That is disgusting. Admittedly, we eat on the sofa sometimes, so, or a lot of the time. So it's, it's crumbs galore. I think I've lost most of my extensions down here. What, are you gonna do that by yourself, are you, Harry? What, over your shoulders? No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on your back. Go on! Over here, the deposit bag. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, we won't do that. Whoa, oh, 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 it's actually it's really bad. <laughs> that is. Oh, oh. look at the sack bar there. Yeah. <laughs> you, you did, actually. Whoa! That's okay. a leg gone. Okay, on to the next one. This one was filthy. Liana's hoovering was clearly not up to scratch, so naturally, we gave the sofa a little wafters. Give it a little wafters. <laughs> That's much better. Nothing came off. <laughs> Oh, I saw one piece of something fall off. I'll give you that. Single pan, reveal yourself. What am I doing? <laughs> this is Harry. He's uh, 27 now. Getting old. 27 from Leicester. No way, No way. Oh. <laughs> Get me back up then. Why is it going up? <laughs> 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 
has just happened? I don't know. Can you get yourself out of there? I don't know, it's a bit hot on you though. <laughs> <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Crazy antics over, the boys got to work loading the heavy stuff first. This is where it pays to have good friends. We couldn't have done this move by ourselves, some stuff is just far too heavy. Even if we did, still struggle at times. Come on, slide! <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm slipping. Come on. <laughs> they call me the slug. Oh, me groin. Oh, right, come on, the lift. Tricky. The lift is descending. Anyways, we filled the van ready to head over to the new house. I don't think it's very secure in the back, but we've got no time to waste. <laughs> right. Before we unpack, shall we show you around? I think we should. This is our living room, or what we plan to be a living room. We've got a cute little fireplace. You can tell Connor and the owner have moved in because look at the state of this kitchen. But in all fairness, they're just boxes that we haven't unpacked yet. I love this because look, sage! Some of the house needs a little TLC, I will admit. This floor, for example, maybe this toilet seat. But this is for guests, so we don't really care about the guests anymore, do we? Here we have a very teeny bathroom, but it does the job. Again, flooring needs a little bit of help, but that's fine. We can we can do that. Someone has left a tissue in the toilet. So we're not 100%, but we think this is going to be our room because we want to be at the front of the house. This, I think, will be little baby boy's room. It, it might not look it but it's bigger than the room he's in now, so we will have a bit more space. And then this room, we've decided to be kind of like a walk-in wardrobe, makeup space, just because, you know, that's that's where I mess a lot of the time. So if we have our own little kind of like corner for it, you know, I can throw it and hide it. So basically, every room looks exactly the same oh, yeah, right no, now, you so you, you might think that we've just said the same room three times. So the reason we have moved is this is a lot smaller, and the space that we have now, we just kind of filled it with, with junk, because we had the space to fill. This is much cheaper as well, so that's always a bonus. And there's just something about the countryside that we absolutely love, except for the spiders. And that leads us to our outhouse, which will be our gym. Well, if this wasn't obvious. Well, let's be honest. It's our life, so. Hey, Harry packed this. I'm not happy with him. I'm, when he gets here, I'm going to show him this and have stern words. The beans are on the floor. <laughs> Me onions. Well, at least the cereal survived. Oh, it gets better. Your granola doesn't survive. <laughs> Once I'd got over the fact that my granola was now all over the lift of the van, we picked up the rest of our spice cupboard from the new driveway and boxed it all back up. Right, let's get this fridge out the box. And of course, I had to test the acoustics. This is the part of me never Once Connor had finished testing the acoustics of the new gym, the fridge was ready to be plugged in. Now we just had to work out where it was going to look best. Here? Yes, there. There. Nice. Uh, a bit, bit more this way. Really? Yeah. This is what we decided on. Time to fill it.
Two days to go and boy, this is getting stressful. Do you ever have so much to do that you just end up getting overwhelmed and doing absolutely none of it? Me too. This morning, I'm mopping the gym floor so that we can start bringing the equipment over. The reason we're using this room as a gym is because exercise is so important to both Cora and I. Of course, for the physical benefits you receive, but mainly for our mental health. And I think the main priority right now is to make sure that my body is completely healthy and repaired and ready to go for baby number two when we are ready. But also, I want to make sure that I'm keeping up with Cozy, you know. Cozy is getting very big. He's a heavy boy, so I want to make sure that I'm keeping up with him. Ew, that's disgusting. I'll get there eventually. You're like a hermit crab. Like a hermit crab. That's what I just said. Is we're getting through the door of the sofa? Yeah. Of course it is. Wait. Harry is a very optimistic individual. Ah! Watch your hand! To me! I already know you've just watched To me! To me! To you! One more. One more. One more. Right, let's go for round two. I just need some companions now because I'm a bit built. Yeah. Pardon? Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, this is, oh, this is snug, not isn't funny, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> it happens. Don't you do it. <laughs> do we have some air conditioning in here? We've got Fair windows, on. mate. Do we have some air conditioning in yeah, here? Yeah, but I've got by chest, so it's windows, I'm afraid. Are you sure what? you don't want to sit in the middle? I, I want to be near the window. What's that supposed to mean? You You're up? just talking over me as well. Let's go. Too hot. It's a bit hot in here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, let's go. Are we going or what? We should hit the road. We should probably keep going. We've got one. another <laughs> another trip to do. It's year one. Maybe Once. we can get the two more trips in. I doubt that. Oh, what? Okay. We've got to pack stuff before we've put the. Put He's it in coming the mat. tomorrow, isn't he? You said. I did? Yeah. You said you owe him a pizza or something, though. I think he said something about that. What? You said something. I don't eat pizza. He doesn't eat pizza. Only anymore. salad. Yeah, Only rabbit salad. food. Food for rabbit. We've got rabbits in the garden. I can eat the rabbit. You've not got I've been in there. There's no rabbits in there. There, there is. is sometimes. Wild rabbits. Oh, and pheasants. I want to see a cow. Pheasant. No, you don't want pheasants. Cows are in the backfield. No, they what? I literally went out there. No cows. No, they're they're in the backfield. There is cows. They're not in the field closest. They're in the one. They next. come here though. They come here. They do come here. They, they come think, here they as think, well and they moo at me. They think you're gonna feed them. They do moo. I've not seen any, so until, gonna get until I see a cow, now. we should go. No, I already know how to get to this house off by art compared to the last one, which I didn't. I do. I always set the sat nav for traffic, though. Traffic. Yeah. Traffic updates. Oh, that's quite smart. Yeah. I, I know the way. It's just. Are we gonna? Are we gonna? We should go. go. Yeah. Go home, <laughs> neighbour. We'll go. Come on. Yeah. Okay. What's for dinner? Is it not? No. To me. You. This is actually easier than I, th I uh, thought. This is so easy that I might even say it's easy peasy. Right, watch <coughs> your foot in here because there's, there's a lot of paperwork that you could swipe on. Whoa! We've got a bit of trouble here. Oh, we've scuffed the wall. Deposit. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! Oh, fully <laughs> scuffed. Oh! I think I'm most sad about this room. Oh, my little cosy boy's room. If I could explain how much I'm sweating. In fact, there's only on one then. word to describe it right now, and no one's gonna like it. Moist. You know those situations where you can't really laugh because it'll just make things worse? Which then just leads to you wanting to laugh even more? Well, that's exactly what's happening here. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Stop it, because I will drop it's it. A bit snippy. <laughs> stop it, I'll drop it. We can do it without the laughter, so stop laughing with me. It's over tiredness, that is. Ah! <laughs> I got scared. It's coming out the other end. I got scared. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Don't start laughing here. Please be careful. <laughs> I don't know if this is possible. Oh! <laughs> what just happened? The door just opened. You're just chalking the wall. <laughs> that is so bad, that one. That is a deep cut. Absolutely knackered, if I'm honest.
I'm flagging. This is the current state of the house. We're getting there. Most of the heavy stuff's gone. And now it's probably the most tedious part, to be honest. All the small stuff. We keep going. Right, come on then. Last run. Let's do this. Well, I don't know where we left off, but it's the last day. I am tired. I'm full of hay fever. I've got a cold. I'm aching. I'm sweating. Wow, that's a lot of things. This is literally the last day to get the rest of our stuff over before we have to take the van back. We've got hours remaining on We've this. got hours. We've got to be quick. We're going to need some energy. Can I please get a large oat milk cappuccino? Well, it is a bit stressful today because like Liana just said, we've got barely any time left. So it's pretty much go, go, go. There's currently no internet at our new house and obviously we need that. So uh, the first job of the day is to take the satellite off the roof. Yeah, great. How high can you jump? Hey, ever seen me up a ladder before? Where are you going? Up a ladder. Well, she's in the car, ready to go. Sweaty work. What a cute hat for a cute boy. I love you. Is he going to sit there? Do you remember this? Oh, it's your car. I don't think I ever built it properly. Wow. <laughs> yeah! Wow. I really have seen it all now. That's as far as it goes. <laughs> I cannot begin to tell you how grubby I feel. I'm sticky, I'm tired, I'm, I probably really s smell, I probably smell. So we have got a few bits left to bring over. Connor's parents helped us set up the security cameras and now daddy is just about to pull up because we're bringing the cats over and fingers crossed they don't get upset about it. I'm gonna go and wait for him outside I think. It is time to take the cats over to the new house, which for me is always like a big deal because the cats have to be happy at the end of the day. Well, if you could just, yeah, get the scooter on in. Yeah, get yeah, in there, here you go, yeah. Wow, that was easier than I thought. Good boy. <laughs> uh, oh, gotta sort that out. Oh, thank you. I hate this part because they just pretty much meow the whole way and it makes me feel really bad. I had to turn the camera off, but we did it very easily. I just went up to her and she thought I was gonna stroke her and then I put her in. Oh, it begins. I feel so bad. It's nearly seven o'clock and we can't put him down yet because the blackout blinds were over in the other house because we had to buy a new pair because it's a different size window. Although you don't seem very tired. It's daddy! Oh, I'll move out the way so you can see their faces. Oh, he's one. Hello. Hello, Miss Warren. We have cats. Oh, Podge is trying to force his bloody way out. Is he? He's not usually like that. There you go, Podge. Ah. Oh. Come on then. You will, Miss Warren. You will. Just takes them a while to get used to their surroundings. You've not seen the cats here, have you? <laughs> Whoa, fast boy. <laughs> Look at you, super quick speed man. Ah, mummy cuddle. Oh. Please excuse the semi-nakedness. Just wanted to quickly show you where we're sleeping. There's a piece of rice on the lens. It really does begin. This is where we're sleeping tonight. On the sofa with Podge. Mummy's already half gone. We'll see you guys in the morning. So it's a few days later, and although we are technically officially moved in, a lot of our stuff is still over at the other house, like all of our clothes, Cozy's wardrobe. Even our bed doesn't fit up the stairs. So technically moved in, technically not. The one thing we did forget to show you is we've got very scary looking kind of derelict stables. <laughs> at least there's somewhere for your parents to sleep when they come and stay. <laughs> yeah, girl. What's wrong with that? Well, we hope you enjoyed this week's video. Thank you for bearing with us while we've been a little bit all over the place, you know, health, moving, van. But we are back at the van next week, so we will see you then. Bye!